Thank you. 
Did that in a vanilla run once. <laughs> I'm sure most kids, uh, <clears throat> after defeating Ganon for the first time, you know, walked into the fire and that was that. Yeah. What do you mean I have to swipe at the fire in order to save the princess? You just rush into the room, you're like, the girl's gotta be in here. What? Well, yeah, at least. Ganon guarded the princess a little better. <laughs> yeah, he was at the beginning of the dungeon today. And speaking of uh, our uh, finishers here, Mr. Cobb is in the channel with us. GG. Thank you. GG to everybody else. That was a little bit of a painful scene, wasn't it? It started so well. It started so well, and then you just hit this wall of blue wizard robes, and, and level 8 decided to uh, be fun. I think you got cut off, sorry. Oh, uh, level 8 just decided to be fun. It started so well. Everything started out so nice, and then we got that. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, thing that did not really help that scene was the recorder being uh, very yep. so deep. Late. You are our last free streamer to pick it up. What was your process of thought behind looking for the recorder? Um, I mean, I knew I only had one... I think I only had one item out of level 1, so I went there first... Uh, I, I mean, once I was halfway done with the dungeons, I kind of knew, okay, I need to really find this thing. And then it, we got to that, you know, the usual point. There's three items in level eight. It's the place to go and dig them out. Even when I was down to just one, it's like, I've, I've got to get past that mugger because the way this kind of works, it can't be in seven, so it's got to be in eight. Yeah, eight. I mean, eight, I don't remember being that terrible combat wise because I was in there pretty early but it was I mean level 8 always big um, and yeah it was I, I was thinking I'm wasting way too much time doing this and I was sure I was going to find like the blue boomerang down there but then I, then I found the blue boomerang and the floor drop and I'm like I've got to find this item I got so Y boomerang I, I I'm sorry TGE be, I figured it was going to be useless and then I found it and I was pretty happy about that well, the, the recorder was actually blocked by the mugger, though, wasn't it? There, was there any way around that? I'm pretty sure it was. I think I was bomb blocked as well for a while, and I kept I kept killing blue um, moblins, and I couldn't get any bombs. And finally, I found some. And and by um, that point in the seed too, like I I knew I was not I, I didn't know where the white sword was, and it turned out to be a good call because I found it in nine. I kind of knew I had 13 hearts. I didn't want to give up a heart. I was going to get the magical sword at that point. Well, it was it was life or money, and it wasn't that much money. It was like 53 rupees or something. Still more than I had the first time I went there. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I always try to keep my money up when I'm going into levels because I want bomb upgrades. Yeah, I think I had just paid for the bomb upgrade in one. And also, um, I had arrows pretty early on, and I knew I was going to want a lot of money for those. And I think as, as soon as I did get that out of 8, or no, I got it on the way back into 8, I think. Um, no, it was after 7 by the time I, I had the recorder, and then I just went and got the blue ring, because I knew I was going to be dealing with blue wizards very soon, and I was already just in pain. Yeah, I probably should have bought the blue ring, given the number of times I died in the overworld. Um, I'm just, I, I don't know if I've ever bought the blue ring, because um, I always, I'm always afraid I'm going to find the red ring right after, um, and nobody found the red ring. I guess it was in seven. It must have been in seven. Uh, I'm missing a floor Nine. item in out of five and a second floor item out of two. Otherwise, it's the seven items. 
floor item in five was no, the floor item in two was the power bracelet that you were missing, and the floor item in five was the any key. Uh, I have the power I I have the power bracelet in out of two. I didn't get the key in five though. Well, the other item in two was the silvers, which I'm assuming you had. Since, oh, actually, I, I, I have the, the silvers out of now? four. You're right, silvers are in four. I mismarked my tracker. Um, I don't know, probably a heart container. Yeah, I, I would I would guess it's seven. Nine. I found both items in nine. Yay. I earned that white sword. <laughs> yeah, we were wondering what you were going to do with that when you saw it. I would have bombed it. No, I, 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 I earned that. I'm keeping it. Fair enough. Complete the sword collector. Why not? Uh, every, everything else was... I, it was right up until you needed to find the recorder. This was smooth sailing for a while. It felt good. Yeah, I mean, if you did all the um, the free item exploration early, you get the ladder, the bow, and then the ladder leads to the raft, and you're like, oh, this is going to be a jet seed. Yeah, then... that's what I was kind of afraid of at first. And then, where's the last one? Yeah, well, and then... I was low on keys for a while, in combat, like, this combat was atrocious. I mean, I forget which dungeon it was, I walked in and found a blue lagoon, it might have been two. On two was full of, of danger noodles, that, that was painful. That's the other point where I think I had said, I need defense. Oh, yeah, that danger noodle room in two, I died in there a couple of times, and then... I finally just started standing in the door and firing arrows. The, the beginning of seven was me g m doing laps between seven and the fairy because by then I had um, I had like thirteen hearts almost. Then I forget. I don't think I had the magical sword yet. No, I did. Yeah. I did. That Patra was just. I couldn't take it with only three hearts and no defense. Yeah, the Patra in the fireball room. It would have been fine if it were just a Patra. I took out a couple of Patras on three hearts with a wood sword. But that, yeah, with the fireballs, no, 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 no. And an expando Patra. If Every I time I went in that room, it came for me, too. Yeah, I I actually, I noped out and I went and made a play for the magical sword. And then I got it. And then I went to six and cleared that out. And then I went back to seven. Seven was the last Triforce I picked up. Two was the last one I got, just because I, I I was looking for the recorder and I knew in the back of my mind I've got to go back to two, but I, I was just so busy with the rest of it. Yeah, GG. Um, that level nine wasn't fun either. It looks like you, uh, we we were all hoping you were going to bomb down out of that stairway once you found it, or bomb right out left out of that stairway rather. That one that was right above Zelda's room and you couldn't obviously you can't bomb down because you can't bomb into Zelda's room. Yeah, I put the bomb there anyway because I'm like, maybe the seed's broken today. Nope, nope, yeah, still, works. still works. I when I first went left, I just like completely forgot to even think about like bombing down. I was already kind of mentally prepared to dig out the whole dungeon looking for a different magical staircase. Yeah, we so were I'm, I'm glad I thought to do that. that. Yeah, um, but yeah, that was a fun one. Um, I gotta pop off and go to sleep, but um, yeah, GG to everybody who ran the race. Um, thanks to uh, to Speed Gaming for a host. Um, it was uh, Cyclone and Jiggly Saint were for commentary. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure who was tracking, but um, thanks to uh, uh, I think Oasis was doing our tracking today. Oh, Oasis. It's Oasis. Oh, good. Thanks for that. Um, and the re and restreaming. Wow, double duty mm -hmm. tonight. Um, and yeah, that was a fun one. I'm glad I got to pl got to uh, to play it. Um, sorry, I died so many times for anybody who was watching. Oh, it's perfectly fine. Sometimes the uh, sometimes the seed in the combat can be horrible, and we uh, we saw our share of deaths from several runners tonight. So uh, definitely uh, not a problem at all. Sometimes it's like that. Yeah, I mean that was I'm I'm surprised I finished as high in the standings as I did. Everything you just said. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. And uh, I just want to remind you again, make sure, and again, I'm going to take that as your final thoughts. So uh, thank you for running and GD to both of you. Good luck in all of your races this week. Of course, this week is week three. We'll talk about the schedule in just a moment for the tournament. But I just want to say, first of all, make sure that you follow these runners. Those of you who are watching on YouTube, by the way, the uh, 
Names are exactly as you see them on the screen, except for uh, Yunos, who has found at Yunos XX. Uh, just type twitch.tv, followed by the name of the person you're looking for. You can follow any of those runners here on Twitch and uh, catch when they're live and uh, chat with them while they're uh, doing their runs off, Whether especially the ones that are not in tournament races. Sometimes they won't be able to chat in tournament races if we're using their audio, but they will be happy to have you watching them and uh, taking part in their community. So make sure you check them out. Uh, and with that said, make sure you follow uh, Oasis under It's Oasis as well. He was our tracker tonight. My co-commentator, Jake Lee, same. I'm Cyclone of Cyclone GU. Just want to make sure you also keep an eye on our schedule here because I want to talk about what's going on right now live on this, the Twitch end. We do have a Metroid Prime race that just started over on Speed Gaming 2. We're probably going to host into that in just a moment uh, on the live end. If you are watching on YouTube on our playlist, you'll see the next weekly race following in the uh, order here. Uh, and Metro Prime will be a different playlist, but on the live end, we will host into that. And uh, Metroid Prime will be going for at least a few hours because, again, that just started. So uh, check that out. Tomorrow we have more Metroid Prime starting at uh, 10 o'clock and some new Super Metroid Brothers Wii, some uh, Super Metroid Link to the Past combo and But more importantly, let's talk about the tournament schedule. Coming up in, this tur in the tournament, uh, this, again, was the preview race for week four, but we are on week three. The next two races on the schedule are at, tw well, basically midnight uh, Eastern time. So 23.59 on August 28th. That's basically midnight Eastern time uh, tomorrow. And uh, wait, I'm, not, I'm, reading, I'm reading the schedule wrong. Sorry. I'm looking at uh, old dates on the schedule. Let's try that again. Uh, the next date on the schedule is, yeah, so 23.59 in September 2nd. So that is still tomorrow. So uh, that'll be tomorrow at midnight. And then after that, the next race will be on Randomania. That one is September 3rd at 7 o'clock. So the uh, first of those will be somewhere on Speed Gaming, not yet assigned. Second one will be some, will be on Randomania. And then there are other races going all the way through the 7th. The 7th, of course, there are two races to finish up the week. Uh, and uh, yeah, there you go. That eight races in week seven. You can check all those out. So uh we look forward to seeing you at midnight tomorrow for the next race in the tournament. Jiggly Saint, you have any final thoughts before we uh, wrap up? Uh, no, nope. looking forward to next week. Looking forward to the week after that. This uh, tournament's going pretty strong. Glad to see it, uh, you know, going the way it is. Indeed. And keep in mind, these qualifiers will be going for three more weeks. Again, this is week three. We have week four, which is based on what we had tonight. Then we have week five, which basically mixes all the different plays together, and that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the tournament. Uh, so uh, once we have the week five qualifiers, then you're going to start seeing a lot more Zelda on both Randomania and Speed Gaming because we're going to get down to the brackets and we're going to start eliminating people. So enjoy these qualifiers while you have the chance to see some four-way Zelda. We're going to start seeing some one-on-one -on -one matchups very soon, and uh, I look forward to those. Those are where it gets most exciting. So... I want to say uh, thank you to everyone in chat. Make sure you follow Randomania, Randomania 2 through 4 as well, since we do have races going on there for the tournament. But more importantly, follow Speed Gaming, Speed Gaming 2 through 6 to make sure that you catch everything on, going on here at Speed Gaming and uh, keep up to date on everything that is happening. Watch all the other events I was talking about, plus more uh, that are going to be starting soon as well this coming month. So keep an eye out for all the events happening here. Uh, and uh, one last note, thank you, chat, for watching as well. If it wasn't for you, we would just be pretty much talking to ourselves. So thank you for watching us talk to ourselves and have yourself a great night. Uh, Jake and Saint, uh, go ahead and take us home. Just good night, everybody. Hey, good night, everybody. What he said.